What is up guys? Welcome back to Max Tech Motorsports. <laughs> um, as per usual, we are underneath the GTI. So where I left you guys off uh, last time, we just finished taking off all of the front suspension stuff, which was uh, fun, I guess you can say. But today I'm gonna be trying to take out this um, subframe. So subframe's gotta come out as well as um, the tie rods. So I'm gonna try to do the tie rods myself. Uh, these are a little old. As you guys can see, that one's cut. Just because of the nightmare it gave me on this uh, spindle here. But um, yeah, so pretty basic guys again with the subframe. Um, you know, I went ahead days and days and days of just PB blasting, making sure everything kind of breaks loose. So I have the main bolts already loose, or I shouldn't say loose, but they're, um, they've been cracked, which is nice. Definitely helps out a lot. Um, again, you're gonna wanna do, so there's one here and one there. So those are the 21 mils. Right there, that got to break loose, and then you have four of these 13 mils. You can already see the all the what's it called on there PB blaster. So you got one there, one there, one there, and one there. And basically, what that does that just attaches um, your steering rack to the subframe, and then you're going to want to undo the dog bone. So I've already cracked these guys with 13 mil. Um, I might uncrack this one too as well. I think these look like uh it looks like a 17 maybe. But anyways, um again guys when you when you do the mount, um the engine's gonna wanna move around a bit, but don't be alarmed, it should be mounted with the other motor mounts, so you should be okay with that. And then yeah, then you're gonna wanna have a jack, like if you have someone else to help you or, or if you have a hoist, whatever, it should be uh pretty easy to do. But for what I'm rocking here. Um, I'm, I'm just doing it by myself, so I'm probably just going to get a jack, make sure, bring everything down nice and slow. Um, you're also going to want to secure the steering rack. So you can't really see it that well, but... Yeah, there you go. So you see, you can kind of see a little gap there. So you're going to want to secure it. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm probably just grab some rope or some bungee cords or something. And then I'm going to wrap around and then go up through the engine bay. And then um, I got like a piece of wood or something that I'm going to kind of lay across the strut towers. And that way, when the subframe comes down, the steering rack just kind of sits there. Um, so another thing too that I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to get these tie rods out. And I'm just debating on right now on either if I'm going to... I've seen guys go from like the top... So you can go from the top, you take the boot off with a big adjustable wrench or channel locks to break them free. Um, I might do that, or I'm, what I might do is when I bring the subframe down, I'll have a clear view of the rack, which will make it a lot easier for me to get access to. The only thing that I'm a little bit worried about is because it's not like mounted to anything, is if I gonna have enough leverage to, to break those free. So that's the only thing that I'm kind of sketching about right now. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, but anyway, so what I'm going to do now is um, just kind of go up top, take a look at everything, um, secure the steering rack first. Again, guys, if you're going to do this with, uh, with everything else on, you're going to want to take the end links off just because the subframe um, is connected to the sway bar. So the sway bar... You can see it's all mounted to the subframe, so when you take the subframe down, it's going to bring the sway bar with it. And um, yeah, then obviously you're going to want to undo the control arms and all that stuff, but um, if, if you guys are following along, which I hope you guys are, you guys already know what our situation is here, so. Okay, but yeah, so let's uh, let's get to it. I'm going to do some thinking and pondering, and we'll see what I can come up with. So you guys can see now, I got one of the ropes on. Um, I think I'm going to just drop the subframe and then try to get the inner tie rods in from that point. Um, there's a special tool you can get, I think, too, that um, you don't have to go through all this whole process. But since I'm going to be dropping it anyways, um, I might as well do them on there. But, um, yeah, I think there's a way if you come through the top and you go through there, you can see the boot. You can take it off and then stick a wrench all the way down. But as far as the driver's side, like, I have no idea. I really don't want to take all this, all this stuff out. But, um... Yeah, I think 
uh, I think with the subframe removed, I like obviously I'm gonna have clear access to it. It's just trying to make sure I have enough leverage to get that uh, inner tie rod out. But yeah, you guys can see, so I just have a piece of wood here. You can use everything uh, or anything, sorry. You can use like a, uh, if you have like a strut brace or whatever, you can use that. And then if you go underneath, oh, I'll show you guys. So you can see it right there. So again, um, don't go around the sway bar because the sway bar is going to come with the subframe. And then I have it down here. And then it goes around the shield. Because I think the shield, judging by that right there, the shields attach to the steering rack. So I have it going around the shield. Just be careful because there's a, a, a line. It looks like a, some sort of... Uh, power steering line They run along so you can see the rusted line there So yeah, and then that's one side and then I'm gonna do one on the other side as well, and then that should at least um, Secure the steering rack from from falling and I have it like fairly tight but not like crazy crazy tight just enough to Support it, but I'm really 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 hoping that When the subframe comes down that I'm gonna be able to get those inner tie rods out if not worse comes to worse when the subframe comes back, I reinstall the subframe and the steering rack, and then I'll have to go and get that special tool from Napa or whatever. I'm sure Das Barts will have one I can uh, snag from, from from those guys. But uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. There's so much stuff, man. Like as I'm underneath here that I want to change and fix up, but there's only so much I can do. I hear this exhaust though, bro. Look at that exhaust. I love this exhaust so much so nice another trick there guys antenna yes sir baby got the antenna going again um this rope it's pretty pretty thin rope so it's kind of a pain to like it's got no weight to it obviously right pretty light oh i got something my, my bad anyways it's got uh no weight to it so when you're trying to push it like down from the top or if you were trying to push it up it's just such a pain in the ass so i got the antenna this one's off the camaro actually a little souvenir and then I got it all wrapped up right here. So there you go. Come on down. And then what I'll do is I'll just disconnect it from here or whatever and then retape it. And then I'm gonna find a way to go up by the uh, by the brake booster, I think will be the best the best spot to go. So let's see if I can get that going. So there we go. So again, wrapped around. Um, just the steering rack make sure you don't hit that sway bar and then I found a little hole put the antenna up in the air and then yeah so I'm just gonna tie this off now nice plank uh, plank of wood I'm actually gonna get I'll get a measurement for you guys here right now that way you guys actually um, if you guys want to use something like this a little 2 by 4 or whatever this is here um, yeah that way you have the perfect one because if you do it right you can see that it will sit inside the fenders perfectly so I'm gonna grab um, the measuring, um, a tape measure right now. I'll do that measurement for you guys right now and that'll help you guys out. So this is 57 inches, so just over four feet. Um, so if you go like 56 inches, just cut an inch off there, right there. You guys have a perfect uh, plank to tie your, um, to tie your uh, steering rack up. Okay, there we go. So the plank's all set up. Yeah, it's not too tight. It's like just what it needs to be really. So like enough slack to like, I mean, not bend any lines and stuff like that, but uh, oh, sorry, <clears throat> um, yeah, that's all done. I'm gonna go underneath now. Uh, so 21 mil with the breaker bar. I'll probably grab the impact as well too, and then I'm gonna get grab a jack and then my 13 mils to break open the um, the steering rack. And then again, guys, just be very careful. You don't want to get crushed by by the subframe. Um, this does help if you have some extra hands for sure. But uh, yeah, let's get that going. So grab the tools and we'll get underneath there. So we're just going to focus on here with um, uh, probably start with the four 13 mils for the steering rack. So one, two, three, and four. Uh, start with those ones first. Um, and then I'll probably move over to the dog bone just to get those all kind of loosened up. Um, then I'm going to get the jack in here. That way. Um, you know what I mean? I'll go on the side. That way I can hit like these 21 mils on the side with me out of here. That way when it, uh, 
it comes down doesn't uh, crush me and then just be careful guys again the motors probably gonna swing back and forth it's pretty self-explanatory why so when this dog bone comes off odds are the motors gonna start to swing a little bit so just be careful be aware um, again if you have someone else to help you that's great if you don't be careful so again PD blaster 2 <laughs> these things have been soaking for days now which is awesome um, hopefully they don't break because that would be an absolute nightmare still being a little bit finicky um, I guess I could grab my impact too my little uh, DeWalt that's slow and steady got the gloves going on now because my hands are just getting ripped to shreds and I'm not a big fan of that so there's one already out you can see that keep it keep these to the side unless you're gonna get brand new ones these ones aren't that bad I might soak them in like some diesel or something and then that way I can clean them right up but uh, yeah just make sure you keep everything to the side so just got one more to go here for that those ones are already out it's working on this guy here it's so nice and hot out here today which is sweet so it's nice and cool underneath the car so just doing this last dog bone mount right here so just be very careful guys so we'll want to slide a bit and then I'm probably gonna undo these two right here which yeah like I said I think they're like a 17 mil so take a look at that so these are actually 16 mil right here if not you can use 5 8 yeah I got myself a nice 16 mil and then yeah hopefully these uh these break nice it's nice having a brand new dog bone mount on here which helps and again guys just make sure you keep all your bolts together with this and be aware of the swing a little bit more swing on the motor but um not as bad as i thought i thought it maybe because the way it's sitting on the jacks and stuff i thought it would kind of swing out further but yeah dog bone is out now we got the jack ready to go and now we're going to work on getting these uh 21 mils out So last one here guys, right here. Like I said, make sure you're not anywhere underneath that when it comes down. Um, hope to God that my steering rack thing works out pretty good here. We'll see how that goes, but yeah, last one. And then we have the jack. I can't wait to put the new bushings in because these things are horrible, man. Not to mention everything looks like ass. So definitely gonna get this powder coated and cleaned up. So yeah, let's get this last one out. Okay, there it comes. You can see it coming down now. A little bit more. Hope to God that, that those ropes work. So right now it's just sitting on the axle. <laughs> So it should come out now. Um, I just had to grab a pry bar. You guys can see it there. I just had to pry um, this section off right over here. Can you guys see that? There you go. So that section was just kind of, um, just from over the years of all the rust and, and dirt and stuff that's kind of solidified there, but it should come down all the way now. And it looks like our rope is working really well. So we'll see how that goes. There you go. Oh, nice and easy, baby. Nice and easy. Um, probably won't go any further now just because the, the sway bar is uh, wrapped around the, uh, what's called the axle here. I'm trying to get those bushings out. It's going to be a nightmare, but yeah, and I'm just really happy. Like, look at all, like, look at the steering rack. So I can get right to those boots and pray to God that I have enough leverage to, to break open those um, inner tie rods. There we go, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm actually really, really excited. This stupid light is in my face right now. But, oh my gosh, man. It actually worked. Oh, dude, that's a good feeling because I had such a bad past couple of days trying to get this suspension side out. So, oh my god, I'm so happy. Now, trying to get these out. Oh my gosh, I'm probably going to have to just torch them right out because those are brutal. Like, oh such an ugly subframe and then while i'm at it i'm probably just gonna get brand new a polyurethane 
um, bushings for the sway bar. So I took the sway bar off too, which should be that just two bolts each side, nothing crazy. But yeah, let's get this thing out. Now, you guys can see the sway bar is right there. So I think those are 13 mils. Yeah, so 13 mils. Just gonna take those both off. I might do the sway bar too. I might powder coat the whole sway bar. I think that'll look pretty good when it's said and done. And then yeah, these bushings, oh my gosh. This is gonna be an absolute nightmare. So I'm gonna have to, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to rock the, um, the torch. I'm gonna have to torch them out or do something because those are, oh, those are just brutal. This is gonna be such a nice piece when it's all done. For sure, and then with the solid bushings and better bushings on the front sway bar, it should be uh, should be pretty helpful on the track, no doubt. Finally got good access to the steering rack, so what I'm gonna do now, just gotta take these stupid clamps off, which I hate, just so I can get access to the inner tie rod here. And then hopefully, with the um, adjustable wrench, I should be able to break them free. That's, uh, that's the goal today, for sure, is to at least get these off. Um, once these are off, then I can probably put the new ones on, or I might just wait a little bit, but, uh, yeah, thank God. It looks so much, so much better, um, just getting, like, access to this if you don't have any of those special tools. So there we go, I got the boot off finally. Um, these clamps, I hate them so much, so I'm probably just gonna get brand new ones. If not, I might go with, like, some sort of hose clamp, but there you go. So this is, uh, the inner tie rod right here. Obviously, I have the outer one. Just gonna grab the adjustable here and just crack this baby loose. Should thread right out, and then uh, yeah, then I'm just gonna have to make sure that I put these um, these uh, dust boots on the new tie rod. Um, I don't think that's gonna come off because that's like pretty <laughs> pretty rusted out. So I'll probably just take a grinder, cut those right there, slide this baby back on. The new ones I don't have to worry about the other tie rod being jammed on it's already off so i can just slide the brand new boot or um this boot on with uh brand new clamps all right so i was able to get this one out right here a little bit easier i'm gonna have to like rotate myself to get the other one out but um yeah thank god i was able to at least get way better access here to get these on that's uh that's pretty sweet um actually there's a little bit of a what's it called there too um, a flat piece there. I can probably put another wrench on there. That way it kind of helps me a bit more, but uh, yeah, oh my gosh, finally got those those out. So uh, yeah, before I cut these out, I'm gonna make sure that I measure um, the right length and then probably take like a paint paint marker or something like that. That way um, when I do put the new ones on, I, I have a general idea of what um, the alignment is. Um, obviously when I'm done doing this, I'm gonna have to do a full alignment on everything with the coilovers and everything really but um yeah before you guys cut these open to get your boots off make sure you guys just measure everything out that way you have a general idea on how to align it all right guys there we go so we got both of them out i'm really happy how this uh turned out um you know i'm a little concerned that hopefully i tied it long enough but um yeah the steering rack still still sitting here but uh yeah very very uh happy the way it turned out here again guys when you put the new ones in just make sure you guys measure them up so that they're relatively the same or have some sort of uh, marking on it that you can you can use and again they're gonna thread right into the sides here you see in there and then uh, yeah go online you can check out any torque specs I, I actually have to do that myself I, I'm not sure what the torque specs are so um, the battery's gonna die on this thing, so instead of me showing you like just a couple small little things that I have to do, I'm I'm gonna end the video here, as I'm gonna put the new tie rods in, and then I'm gonna probably spend about four and a half hours um, trying to get those bushings out of the subframe um, out. So I'll probably have to fire up the torch and get a hammer and do all that stuff, and then uh, yeah, then I'll be installing hopefully the the 34 Motorsports solid bushings, which I will show you guys once they're in so you guys can take a look at them but uh yeah if you guys have any questions or concerns about this stuff again i really appreciate you guys being underneath the car with me all day here um feel free to comment make sure you guys subscribe and then uh check us out as always max stack motorsports on instagram and yeah take care be safe enjoy your day